Welcome back, everybody, to another Divi Project Update. It is Friday, and you know what that means. We had a Twitter Spaces today, and it was a great one because Joshua Caleb, our Chief Innovation Officer, was there. He talked about self-custody, Divi DeFi, and more. So it was very nice. So you guys should definitely play the recording. I will leave a link to it in the description box. But yeah, for those of you curious about the Divi DeFi sector, like, what is it? Well, it's going to be its own platform. So yes, uh, it's going to be a web D app. But in the future, wall well, integration is planned out for it. So very nice. So yeah, they're going to create their own website and whatnot for it. So pretty cool where you'll be able to just interact, have farming and whatnot. If you don't know what farming, he, he even went through that, gave a little description of it. And just we, we want to make this as simple as possible for people to enter the space and have another option to convert and trade their Divi outside of centralized exchanges and the wallet. So yeah, super looking forward to that. He also gave a hint on magic.link that we're going to be using like some of their technology in the future for it. Like this is going to be in the future though. Like Magic gives developers the tools to make adoption frictionless, secure and non-custodial, no downloads, no password, no phrases, just really an email. So looking forward to that. If you want to take a look at it, it's magic.link is the URL. But yeah, so like speaking of like, if you just want to log in with an email, that's why like they talked about also cyber hygiene. It's like best practices to take to keep yourself safe, secure, 2FA, just all that stuff. So yeah, it was a really great space is having Josh there. Love listening to him talk. It <laughs> went on quite a bit, but like so much information and great information was given. And then also Nick Sapinera was in the spaces as well. Uh, he talked about the Next live at five, that how it's going to be in the metaverse. For which metaverse? It will be on spatial dial. Oh, so create a profile. And again, it's going to be limited space. So not everyone will be able to get in on it. So maybe they'll have like a giveaway and who can assist. Really cool. Uh, but I'll just wait on that. But until then, like, yeah, get yourself logged in, create a profile, and then like see how easy it is to use. Like here is, uh, let's see, let's see if we can join anyone or let's go to MySpace. Uh, like usually when you create one, it's give it, it gives yourself like a little home that you can edit, do whatnot. But let's see if we can get like a little idea of what this looks like. If not, uh, do, do, do. Uh, here we go. So sweet. <laughs> Depending on like how big the world is, it will depend on like how quick it loads up. But yeah, let this go. It's still loading. My little avatar is being created. Like, see, here's a space. Eh, I'm not a female. It's going to turn into me. There we go, Mill. So yeah, this is the metaverse. This is what it's like. So it's going to be pretty cool. Very simple. Like you can have like definitely live at five here. Like there's a stage where you can just like click. And it'll go over there, and then boom, you're sitting down listening to Nick chat about it. But yeah, there's many ways you can move. You can either use the arrow keys or the AWSD, or you just click to go places. So it is very, very cool Like where this is going to be. So yeah, create a profile and be ready for the Live at 5 if you can get a chance to get in on it. But yeah, what else was going on? Do, do, do. Oh yeah, we have a poll since next Friday is Black Friday. Uh, the Divi team wanted to ask you guys in a questionnaire, like, should we have one or should we not? So I said, yes, I want that. It looks like 71% of you guys want it as well. Uh, but yeah, go with their votes. That way they can know if they're going to have a space next Friday or not. All right. And then let's see. Let's go on with more of the news. Uh, what is Nick Sapinera got tweeting out today? Let's see. Once this can load up. <laughs> let's find close that one. Uh, Close that tab. Let's see. The greatest rug of the year goes to <laughs> oh, Spectator Index. Breaking Qatar announces it will only allow the selling of non-alcoholic beverages at the World Cup. You gotta be kidding me. No alcohol while watching soccer? What's up with that? Is that just because it's in Qatar? Crypto fans, like, you're reading this all wrong. This just means Qatar will only allow free alcohol at the World Cup stadiums. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, but yeah, so I guess that's not going on because I think some of their activations, like last time, people were curious, like, like how they used it. People were able to buy alcohol in Dubai with the Divi wallet. So that was one thing, but with no alcohol, huh, what else they got planned for it? 
also from Nick Sapinero, he tweets, sorry that we got all these loads, in case you missed my full interview with Girl Gone Crypto from Madrid last month, where we discussed patent finally becomes official, working with 8 plus DAOs on NFT 2.0, modularized wallet for business to business, mm-hmm, that's right, loyalty 2.0, and more. So yeah, that was my most exciting part of the interview, talking about like, Divi Wallet can use their technology to basically give any business what they want. Oh, you just want to be able to hold coins? Oh, you just want to be able to trade? Like, they're giving them the options to be able to do this. So, yeah, super stoked and bullish on Divi. But, yeah, check out that interview. I'll still leave a link down below for you guys to be able to watch it. And then let's see what else is going on. We got two more tweets out there. Let's see. Divi Project, we'll say it again. Not your keys, not your cheese. <laughs> but yeah, not your coins, guys. Just always remember, get your coins off exchanges. Takes the self-custodial route. Download the Divi wallet or get a cold storage wallet. Or there's many ways you can self-custody your cryptos. But yeah, just always remember, not your keys, not your cryptos. And also, if you haven't joined the Divi Discord channel, please do so. I do have a link in the description box where you can just hang out with the Divi community, ask questions here. And yeah, sometimes the admin will pop in, answer your question, and just like be a part of the community. It's just a great place to hang out. So yeah, join the Discord channel. We're all here. We're all great. And yeah, someone posted a nice little Divi plug from Metaverse. Yeah, showing the Divi wallet link right there for self-custody. Very nice. But yeah, that's about it, though, for this Divi update. Watch that or listen to that Divi Twitter spaces. You will not be disappointed. But yeah, I guess Divi's having a nice little pump right now. We are at 0.013 cents, up 8% since yesterday. Market cap's at $43 million. Trading volume is at 188000 and market cap rank 353. Nice. So here's our day chart. And wow, look at that green pump. Woo, very nice. Total master nodes out there is 2,062. So yes, we went up two since yesterday. Love seeing that. And as always, if you haven't downloaded the official regional wallet of La Liga yet, uh, go to divywallet.com. There's a link down below for you. You can get it from the Apple Store or Google Play. Again, just back up that seed phrase and you're good to go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel and also create that spatial account to enter the metaverse. So that way you can get a chance to enter uh, the live at five when it happens. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.